Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here, and welcome back to my How to Build series, where I'll be showing you how to build five simple secret rooms. Now, I've done a video like this in the past, it was my 10 simple secret rooms. If you want to check out that video, I'll have a link to it in the description below. Now, I'm going to be moving from the left-hand side over to the right, and you can kind of see where the secret rooms are, because I placed red stained clay in place of the blue stained clay, so we can see where they all are. Now, just giving a heads up, guys, I'm pretty sure none of these work on PE, so people that are going to ask, do these work on Pocket Edition? I'm pretty sure none of these work on Pocket Edition. So just giving a heads up now if you're coming here from Pocket Edition. So starting over here from the first one, this is going to be a very simple torch key. So all we have to do is place a redstone torch right up here and it will open up our secret room and we can go ahead and enter. Now we can also lock it up from the inside by flipping down this lever and now it is completely locked from the outside. But however, once we are done doing what we have to do inside our secret room, flip up the lever, leave the area, and then last but not least, place our redstone torch back on here and close it up behind us. For number two on our secret rooms, this one's actually a pretty cool one. It's going to be a corner door secret room that you have to get into by breaking a minecart. So if I look right down here at this corner and I hit this corner with a bow and arrow, it will break a minecart opening up my door. Now this one's a little bit different from ones in the past too, is it places the minecart back. You don't have to go in there and place the minecart back in. It does everything for you. So once I hit that pressure plate right there, it will close up the door behind me and it will also place that minecart back in so I don't have to replace it in. So once I'm done with whatever I have to do inside my secret little base, just leave the area and now the minecart is back there so if i go right here and i hit it with the bow boom i can redo it again because it places the minecart back in for me let's go ahead and do it one more time boop and it's back in third up on the list is going to be another minecart secret door however instead of breaking it we just have to push it so all we have to do is just walk inside of this cauldron right here so go right inside the cauldron and it will push over the minecart opening up our secret room so we can go ahead and walk right in and then here is the minecart on this side so all we have to do is just push the minecart and it will lock it up from the outside once again and then once we are ready to leave, all we have to do is just click this button. It'll open it up. And then all we have to do is just leave the area. Do it one more time. Just walk in here. Bop it. There it goes. Opens it up. Hit it on this side to close it up. Hit the button. It will reopen up the door. And then walk on out like nothing is there. Now for number four on the secret rooms, this is probably going to be the hardest one to build. But it's still not that hard to build. All we have to do is just throw an item right here at this block. And it'll let us down into our secret room underneath our floor. Now, I didn't do anything down here just for tutorial wise, but you get the gist of this. You could build an entire base or some sort of secret thing, have all your chests down here if you really want to. Now, to close it up behind you, all you have to do is retake the item out of the chest that you threw up from there. Now, of course, once we're ready to leave, just throw our item back in. It will open it up, walk back onto the platform, take our items out of the chest, and we will be placed back up top like nothing is there. And now for number five, this is actually gonna be one of my favorite ones. It's the trash can secret room. So right here, I have a cauldron that's supposed to act like a trash can next to my refrigerator. So once I throw an item out of my trash can, bloop, it will actually open up this secret staircase into the ceiling that lets me do whatever I want to do inside of my secret room. All I have is one chest in here, but then of course, if we wanna close it up, click this button and it'll close it up. Click the button again, it will open up our secret room, walk on out of it. And then of course, we're just gonna have to throw out one more item to close it up like nothing is there. Now, if you notice with every single one, there was a timestamp under the names. So you can go ahead and skip through the video to whichever one you want to build. You don't have to watch the entire build to get to the one. But if you want to watch the entire video, that's absolutely fine too. So let's go ahead and get started on these things, guys. So for number one up on the list is going to be the torch key door. So what we're going to need for this build is a five by two spacing. And we're also going to have to dig down one. Now that red stained clay line is where your wall is going to be going. So just giving you a heads up, red stained clay line is where your wall is going to be going. Now the resources we're going to need for this build are two sticky pistons, one redstone torch, eight redstone, and three ladders. So once you have your five by two spacing, dug down your one and gathered up all your resources, we're going to come over here to where our wall is going to be going. And we're going to count over one block and then count up three. One, two, three, and place a sticky piston facing towards us. Next up, take out a block of choice for your flooring. I'm actually going to go ahead and take out some spruce wood for mine. And I'm going to place a spruce wood plank right in front of this sticky piston. Now to the left-hand side of the sticky piston, we're gonna place two blocks going that way. One, two, with two pieces of redstone on top of it. Now we're gonna go ahead and just make a quick staircase going up, so just follow along and we should be absolutely fine. So come right back here and come up two blocks. One, two, right from here, one, two. Then come up to the right-hand side too, one, two. And then come up two again, one, two, like that, and place redstone along all three of them. One, two, three. And then off the third one, we're gonna place a sticky piston facing towards us with our walling block of choice. I'm gonna be using blue for my walling. And then what we're gonna do is come up two more blocks here. One, two, then take out your ceiling block of choice. I'm gonna be using quartz, place it here, and then place three redstone right along it like that. And that's the entire build, guys. You are pretty much completely done. So if I place my torch right here, it will close it. If I place the torch again, it will open it up. 
So right here is where our secret base is going to be going. So let's go ahead and fill in our walling real quickly. There we go. Let's fill in our walling, put an extra little ceiling block right there. And then we can also add in another flooring block right here. So right here, we're going to dig down three blocks. One, two, three. And then what we're going to do is come down here and you can go ahead and just dig out your base as much as you want. It is completely up to you. I'm just going to go right here. That should be absolutely fine. And then right here underneath where our sticky piston is, we're going to break out this block. And then we're going to place in a lever right here. I completely forgot to put a lever on my resource list. I'll go ahead and add that to it before the video starts. So there's our lever. That's just to lock it from the inside. Now we can go ahead and take out our ladders and place our three ladders to get out of the area. So one, two, three, like that. We can go ahead and leave our area. And then, of course, to close it up behind us, all we have to do is just place our torch key again, and it will close up our base like nothing is there. Second up on our list is going to be the corner door. So you're going to need a 5 by 3 spacing for this build, and you're also going to have to dig down two. Now, that red stained clay line right down there at the right-hand corner is going to be the actual corner of your walls. Now, the resources you're going to need for this build are two sticky pistons, one dispenser, one dropper, one hopper, one redstone comparator, two redstone repeaters, one redstone torch, five redstone, one pressure plate, a minecart, and a powered rail. So once you got your five by three spacing, dug down your two and gathered up all your resources, come to the bottom left-hand corner, and we're gonna count over three blocks. One, two, three, and then count up one block, one, and place two blocks right here. One, two. Now facing the corner of your wall, we're gonna go ahead and take out our sticky pistons and place two sticky pistons facing towards the corner. Now what we can go ahead and do is place our blocks of choice in front of that. I'm going to be using blue for my walling. Go ahead and choose whatever colors you like. Next up, we're going to go ahead and place in our pressure plate so we can open up and close the door. So to do that, what we're going to do is come right over here to this corner, place in a block, place our pressure plate above it, and then right underneath it, we're going to place in one piece of redstone. So when I hit this pressure plate, the redstone comes on from down there. So when I hit this pressure plate, the redstone should come on. Then coming out from the right hand side of our redstone, let's go ahead and take out our blocks again. We're going to place a block right next to our redstone. A repeater coming out from the block, so the repeater should come on when I hit the pressure plate now. See, it comes on. Place a block in front of that with another piece of redstone in front of that. So when I hit this, the redstone all the way down here comes on. Next up, place a block up right here next to the redstone with a redstone torch on top of it. Block on top of the redstone torch and then block over with two pieces of redstone right here, thus activating the door. So when I hit this, the door opens up, and then the door closes. Now what we're going to do is swing over here to this side and break out these two blocks right here. Now right here on the corner of our redstone clay, we're going to take out our dropper, not your dispenser. Make sure you take out your dropper and place a dropper facing upwards towards your pistons. Then take out your dispenser and face your dispenser facing away from your door by going into sneak mode on top of the dropper. So make sure your dispenser is facing away. And then going into this bottom dropper right here, we're going to take out our hopper and place a hopper going into the bottom dropper. As you can see, it's going into the bottom dropper. Next up, we're going to go ahead and take out our power rail and place our power rail right on top of this hopper by going into sneak mode. Make sure it is facing this way. You have to make sure that it's facing this way. If it's not facing this way and it's facing that way, you're going to have to place another block here with another rail to fix it. So if it's facing this way, just place another block here, place a rail, and make sure it is facing from side to side. Next up, go ahead and place a block right next to your dropper right here. Take out your redstone comparator and place a redstone comparator coming out of it, going into the block with the redstone torch. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take out our redstone once again. And then on top of this block over here next to our comparator, we're going to place a piece of redstone. Now that redstone is going to connect to the redstone down there. And we don't want that to happen. So place a block right here to cut it off. Then going into your dispenser right here, we're going to place a repeater on one tick delay. Take out your blocks and place a block right here above your redstone comparator by going into sneak mode. So go into sneak mode and place in a block right there. Now all stuff to do is place in your minecart. Place a block right here to the side of your minecart right here. And now go ahead and just place in your flooring block of choice. I'm going to go ahead and just take out spruce wood again because that's the flooring block I'm just going to use for the entire tutorial. So spruce wood. Place a piece of spruce wood right here. And now we can go ahead and fill in the rest of our walling. So place in walling right here and walling right here. And now we can go ahead and test it out to make sure everything is working. So go ahead and take out a bow and some arrows. And we are also going to need to switch it to survival. If you are in survival already, go ahead and just test it out. So I quickly went ahead and just switched it to survival. So now all I have to do is just aim it right here, shoot the minecart, and it will open up my secret door. And I did not add a block right here so I could walk through. So make sure you have a block right here. And then go ahead and just walk through, and it should lock up behind you. There we have it. And now that minecart should be back over there. And if we want to leave, just hit this again. 
and it will open up. So let's go ahead and just make sure that the minecart's back there by shooting it again. So boop, as you see, the door opens up and then it closes absolutely fine. So now all that's left to do is clean it up. So I switched it back over to creative. So take out whatever blocks of toys you really want to, and then go ahead and just clean it up. So you don't have to see any of this redstone whatsoever. And that's the entire build completely done. Number three on the list is going to be the minecart behind the cauldron secret door. So for this build, we're going to need a five by four spacing. And that red stained clay block is where your cauldron is going to be going. Now the resources we're going to need for this build are six sticky pistons, one redstone repeater, three redstone torches, four redstone, one wooden button, one block of redstone, two powered rails, one detector rail, one minecart, one cauldron, and one slab. So once you have a five by four spacing and gathered up all your resources, come to this red stained clay block and we're gonna place our cauldron right here. And of course, this is where our wall is gonna be going. So then coming out from right behind our cauldron, we're gonna break this block, place our redstone block down here. Next, take out our powered rails and place two powered rails going that way. One, two, and then place your detector rail in front of that. And then in front of your detector rail, we're gonna place in our stone slab. So when we place our minecart right here and go inside of our cauldron, we'll push the minecart over and then when we come inside of our build, we'll push the minecart back over once again. And I highly recommend filling this up with water so you can't see the minecart. Next up, come to the left-hand side of our detector rail, break this block, and place a redstone torch here. And now we're going to need some blocks to place above that. So take out your blocks and place a block right above the redstone torch. Like so. Place a redstone torch above the block. Place a block above the redstone torch. And then go ahead and do that one more time. So redstone torch and block right above that next up take out your blocks of choice for your ceiling you will be able to see these blocks i'm going to come four blocks over from this redstone torch going that way so one two three four and then come out one towards the front of your build next take out your redstone and place in two pieces of redstone here one two place a repeater coming out of this redstone going that way on two ticks delay with two more pieces of redstone in front of that now we can go ahead and take out our sticky piston. But before we do that, what I want you to do is just push this minecart over there and turn everything off. Now from the bottom of these blocks right here, we're going to place in two sticky pistons. One, two. Place in two more. One, two. And then from here underneath this repeater, we're going to place in two more sticky pistons facing towards us with our block of choice for our walling in front of that. So now if we go ahead and push our minecart back over, it should close up our secret door. Now what we're going to have to do is add in the button for the inside. So when we open up our secret door by hitting our minecart right here by going inside the cauldron, you help me go ahead and just do that. We'll walk into our secret room right here. And we're going to need the button inside here to reopen it up. So when we close it from inside, we're going to need a button to open it up. So all we have to do is just take our wooden button and place it off this block right here underneath the torch. And that will let us open up the door and then it will reclose it when we get outside of the door. Now all that's left to do is just clean up the area. So go ahead and take out your blocks of choice you want to be using for your walling and clean it up around the entire area. We don't want to see any of these pistons here. We can go ahead and place an extra block here, place in two more blocks right here, place blocks right along this whole entire top area just to close everything off so we can't see any of that redstone. So when I come over here, I click this button and go ahead and walk right on outside of my build. And of course, we're gonna add in some more blocks right here. And then for our walling block, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use blue now what i also did was just so you can't see the minecart just in case on the corners right here i went ahead and just placed in let's say a furnace or a crafting bench let's go ahead and just put a crafting bench right here and then on this side right over here we can go ahead and just throw in a furnace and then like i also said i highly recommend filling it up with water so you can't see the minecart inside of it but when we're ready to open up just come in here hit our cauldron it'll open up our secret room and of course we have to add in a top area as well so we can't see any of this redstone Go ahead and walk into our secret room and then i also like to make this a staircase right here but let's go ahead and just make it a slab real quick push this over it will lock it up and then when we're ready to leave click the button opens it up and we can go ahead and leave the area and it'll close right up behind us like nothing is there for number four on our list we're going to be building the lift and we're going to need a nine by three spacing and we're also going to have to dig down six now that red stained clay line is the exact spot and where your lifts going to be going now, the resources you're going to need for this build are three sticky pistons, one piston, one hopper, four redstone repeaters, one redstone comparator, two redstone torches, one block of redstone, 15 redstone, three slime blocks, one minecart with a hopper, one chest, nine immovable objects, and one rail. So once you got your nine by three spacing, dug down your six and gathered up all your resources, we're going to go ahead and count over to where these red stained clay blocks are. So come all the way to the left. And we're going to count over to there. So one, two, three, four five 
six, and then just count up one. One, and place three sticky pistons going to the right. One, two, three. Next up, take out your slime blocks and place three slime blocks on top of those. One, two, three. And then we're gonna have to place in our flooring block of choice above that. So I'm gonna be using spruce wood planks for mine. So one, two, and number three. Now we're gonna go ahead and add in our power for our sticky pistons. So starting all the way over here on this side, we're gonna come over down here, place in a block with a piece of redstone on top of it. Then we're gonna place two blocks above that. One, two, a block down. Turn this way and place a repeater going into this block on two ticks delay. So tick it once to two ticks. Then we're gonna place an immovable object behind our repeater like that. Come down a block once again and place another repeater going into this obsidian block on two ticks delay as well. Next, we're gonna come over four blocks from here. One, two, three, four, and then up one block like that. Place redstone along all these blocks. One, two, three, four, and then up one. Next up, we're gonna place a block up one above here. So place a block up one over from right here with a redstone torch off the side of it. This will activate your redstone, thus activating some of your pistons. Then right off of the piston that did not activate right here, we're gonna place in another immovable object. I'm gonna use my obsidian. Come a block down from it, a block over, and place a redstone repeater going into that on four ticks delay. Next, we're gonna place a block over behind our four tick delay repeater, a block to the side, and then wrap it all the way right down to over here. One, two. Then place a redstone torch off this side of the block as well, with redstone going all the way around. One, two, three, four. Now we don't want these two connecting, so place a block right here to disconnect them. Then right down here between all of this, we're gonna place in another block right here. And then coming out of this redstone, we're gonna place a repeater going towards that way on four ticks delay. And now last but not least, we're gonna come right back over here and we're gonna bring redstone all the way down to this piston over here. So we're gonna place a block right here with redstone. And then next up, we're going to need two slabs for this part. So take out your slabs and place in two slabs upside down right here. So one, two, place redstone right on top of both of them. One, two, and now just connect this redstone over here to that redstone. So come out two more, one, two, and place redstone along both of them, just like that. And that should be our entire lift completely done. So if I add a lever right here and send any power to it, boom, it goes all the way down and then boop. Now I actually found out the reason why this did not go up is I did not break the block next to this slime block. So if you are building this, just make sure you break all blocks or else it will break it. So let's go ahead and do that again. So off, it goes all the way down and boop, it goes all the way up flush to the floor. So now all that's left to do is add in our input. All right, guys, so now it's time to add in our input. So go ahead and break this lever just in case you went ahead and tested it out like I did. And we're gonna place a piece of redstone right on top of the block where we just broke that lever. Next up, place a block up right above this repeater by going into sneak mode. Place a redstone comparator going into the block with the two redstone torches on them. Place a block behind the redstone comparator with a chest right off the back of this block. So now any items that go in here will activate that redstone comparator. So if I place an item in there, as you can see, it turns off. Take the item out and it turns back on. Then right above our chest, we're gonna take out our hopper and place a hopper going into that chest. Next, place a block right above the hopper. Place a rail on top of the block. And then take out our minecart with a hopper, place that on top of that, and then break it and let it fall into place. So let it break and fall into place. Now all we have to do is just clean up the area with our flooring blocks of choice. So just go ahead and wrap it all the way around in here. And just in case your rail fell down here, just go ahead and take out that rail. Make sure you take it out so you know that it's out. Let's go ahead and wrap our blocks all the way around here. And then just wrap it around down here as well. Hide all of your redstone up completely. There we go. And now all that's left to do is hide the minecart with a hopper. So that's very easy to do. All you do is just place a piston one away. And then we just got to send power to that piston. And it'll push the block inside the hop, the minecart with a hopper. And then go ahead and just place your block of choice back in right here. And I'm going to go ahead and fix this up right here. And that's it, guys. You're completely done. So once I throw an item right here at this block, it will open up my secret base. And then right down here, we can go ahead and clean it up as well. So go ahead and take out your removable objects. And we're going to have to place immovable objects around this entire thing. So one, two, three, one, one, two, three. That is why we needed nine of them. And then you can go ahead and do whatever you like down here. I'm going to go ahead and just change the, the corners right here to quartz like this, like this, like this. And then I'm going to quickly go ahead and take out some ansite and fill in the rest of this wall with some more ansite blocks like this. And I'm going to place them one more back here and here. So now it is completely uh, nice and cleaned up. So now all we have to do is just take an item out of our chest and we'll go back up to the top. And then if I want to open it up, just throw my item back in. It will open it up, take my item out, and it will close it back up. 
All right, guys, and last but not least is going to be our trash can and secret entrance. For this build, we're going to need a 6x5 spacing. And as you can see, the first two blocks, we're going to have to dig down three. Now, the resources you're going to need for this build are five sticky pistons, one piston, one hopper, one dropper, one redstone comparator, two redstone repeaters, two redstone torches, nine redstone, one button, one sand block, one cauldron, one minecart with a hopper, and one powered rail. Once you have your 6x5 spacing and dug down your three in the right area, we're going to go ahead and start off by building our trash can. So come over here to the left-hand corner, count over one block, and then count up one block. And then right from here, we're going to place a dropper facing downwards. This can be a little tricky, but we're just going to come up three blocks. So come up one, two, three, place a block right here. Then come to the left-hand side and dig down one extra block. Take out your dropper and just face a dropper downwards like that. Make sure your dropper is facing downwards from the build. Next up, what we're going to do is place a hopper going into the back of this dropper like this. So make sure your hopper is going into the back of the dropper. Then we're going to place a block above that with our rail on top of it. Minecart with a hopper on top of that break the block and let it fall into place now what we're going to do is we're going to hide this hopper with our block of choice so i'm going to be using dark oak planks for this part of the build and we're also going to need our piston and some sort of power source so take out your redstone torches so to do this we've been doing it quite often we're going to place a block right here place a piston right here send power to our piston and it'll push the block inside the minecart with a hopper next up just place blocks around it like this just so it doesn't move anywhere we don't want to lose it however if we just throw an item right here at the block as you can see it'll funnel down into this dropper right here so if we take out our cauldron place our cauldron right here and we throw any items inside of this cauldron boop it will go in like a trash can and then follow up inside this dropper now let's go ahead and start up on the redstone so we're going to place a block down right from here next to our dropper place a comparator coming out of our dropper going away from it place a block up in front of the comparator a block down and then a piece of redstone right here next up place a block next to the redstone a block down right here and then coming out of this back block we're going to place a repeater going back towards our comparator place a block next to our comparator and then a block up next to our dropper and place redstone along both of these blocks so now when we throw an item inside of our trash can it'll get shot out by the dropper so boop it'll get shot out by the dropper no longer in there it's underneath it now if you want to you can add lava in underneath it so it burns up the item but i just decided not to put lava because it makes noise Next up, what we're going to do is off the corner block back here that our repeater is coming out of. We're going to place a redstone torch. Place a block on top of the redstone torch. A block to the side above this redstone. And then one block over with two pieces of redstone on top of both these blocks. They should come on thanks to that redstone torch. Then coming out of the redstone dust, we're going to place another block. Another redstone torch. Another block above that. With a piece of redstone on top of it. Then above where this redstone is, we're going to place a piston with a sand block on top of it. Then place a block coming out from where the sand block is with a repeater coming out of our sand block on one tick delay. Next, place a block up in front of the repeater and a block underneath it. Break the middle block and place a piece of redstone right here. Then up here, we're gonna come out two more blocks, one and two, with redstone along both of them. Next, swing to the front hand side and we're gonna go ahead and add in our sticky pistons. This is gonna be the blocks that get pulled back for our ceiling. So place in your ceiling block of choice, I'm going to be using quartz. And now we're also going to need our bookcase blocks and our walling blocks. So right from here where this block is, we're going to place another sticky piston off of that block with a bookshelf on it. And then we're going to place three bookshelves right here. One, two, three. And then right here underneath where this sticky piston is, we're going to also place in yet again another sticky piston with a walling block, one block out from it right here. Break this block like that. And that should be everything. So as you can see, we have a staircase going up into our ceiling. And then right above this redstone, we're going to place in a block of choice. Take out our button and place our button off this block of choice right here. So if I click it, it should close everything up. There's everything closed. And then when I click it again, there's everything opened up. So now go take out your color of your walling and place your color of walling behind everything. So you can't see all of this like that. And we're going to do this on this side as well, place in your color for your walling so i'm going to be using blue for mine all the way up and around do not place anything in front of that sticky piston right there or it will ruin it and there you guys have it and that's going to be our ceiling block right there so we can go ahead and place in some more of our ceiling if you want to change this over to white as well just so it matches the ceiling go right ahead but we're going to go ahead and wrap this all the way around for our ceiling there we go and then up here we can also have a wall up here so we can't see any of the redstone which we're going to have to jut out one extra just so we can't see those pistons so now when i click this up here boom 
Can't see any of the pistons. Everything is hidden. Click the button again. Opens up our secret. Well, not our secret room. It opens it up so we can get out of our secret room. And then, of course, if we want to open up and close it from down here, just throw an item out. It will close it. Throw an item out again. Oh, it's bouncing. Sorry. Throw an item out again, and it will open it up. So throw an item out again, and it got stuck on top of it. Sorry. Throw an item out again. Boop. It will open up our secret room, and then we can go ahead and enter it. But there you guys have it. That's how you build five secret rooms inside of Minecraft. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. And like I said, if you want to check out the first one, I'll have a link to it in the description below. Okay, guys. Peace.